welcome to another episode of Positive Parenting with Astrology with your host and resident Gemini, yours truly, Maria Rieger. Today I'm super excited because we're talking about the top three best traits of the Scorpio parent. That's right, today we're talking about the Scorpio parent. A little while ago I did a video on the worst trait of the Scorpio parent. Today we're doing one on the top three traits of the Scorpio parent. So let's get down to it. But before we do that, please like this video and subscribe to this channel to get your free weekly Positive Parenting with Astrology content. Also, I'm going to put a sign up link in the video description. If you are going to be in the Washington DC area on October 5th, please join me in Old Town Alexandria for a book event. I will be speaking there about my book, Your Scorpio Child, to usher in Scorpio season, which is also Halloween season. I'll be offering uh, copies of my book there. Um, I'll be taking questions from the audience and we can chat. So I look forward to seeing you there. Okay, you know how this works by now. I'm going to give a high level overview of Scorpio nature, and then we're gonna go right into the three top traits of the Scorpio parent. Scorpio is a fixed water sign. We know this. Uh, so water sign means it is a feminine energy sign that approaches the world from a place of intuition and emotions. Scorpio people tend to make de uh, decisions based on how they are feeling and what they intuit the answer to be rather than using strictly logic and rational thinking. The crux of the Scorpio person is that Scorpio is an intensely emotional sign. Scorpio people need to feel and experience the entire range of, of human emotions to have a fulfilling life, fulfilling on a soul level, right? A Scorpio person would rather feel bad or feel negative emotion than feel nothing. That's the crux right there. They cannot feel nothing. They need to feel. It's often said, uh, kind of in a stereotypical way, that Scorpio people tend to dwell on the negative. That's not always the case, although it, it, they are. there is very much an intensity of feeling. And sometimes if there are... Um, kind of in a negative state of mind or going through a negative experience, there'll be an emphasis on the negative because that's their experience in that moment. But it's not the case that they are always negative. It's just that when whatever they're feeling is uh, emotionally enhanced. And Scorpio children, as we know, if you've seen my other videos on Scorpio kids, often they have a hard time articulating the depth of the emotional experience that they're going through. And that's something that parents of Scorpio kids need to look out for and help them with. What else? Scorpio is known as the detective of the Zodiac. They love to probe and get to the bottom of things. They can be relentless about what they want. We talked about that in a recent video too. And Scorpio is a very loyal sign. So once the Scorpio person determines that, a per that another individual is worth their time and energy, they are very loyal and they want to get to know everything about that person. And sometimes this comes across as like they seem like they want to snoop about that person. And parents of Scorpio kids will notice that sometimes the Scorpio kids like to snoop on what the parents are doing. It's not snooping for the sake of snooping. It's snooping, so to speak, because they want to get to know everything about the parent and what makes them tick, right? Because they are very close with the parent. And Scorpio people tend to attach very closely with their loved ones and bond very closely with loved ones. Being a, a water sign, Scorpio also tends to bond very closely with others and Scorpio energy sometimes tends to merge with the other person in the relationship and we've talked a lot about that in other videos. That it's always a challenge for the Scorpio person to maintain and respect healthy boundaries with other people because they identify so closely with the emotional needs of the other person. Okay, now we're getting into my favorite part, the top three characteristics of the Scorpio parent. Number one, it's no surprise, loyalty. Scorpio is arguably the most loyal sign of the Zodiac. As we said earlier, a Scorpio person, the parent in this case, uh, once they determine that this other individual in the relationship is worthy of their time or of attention, accepts the Scorpio person as they are, right? And uh, values what the Scorpio person is all about. They are unendingly loyal to that person. So the trick is it is tough to get the loyalty from a Scorpio. It is also tough to lose it, okay? But you can lose it. And once you lose the loyalty, good luck getting it back. So what happens is a Scorpio person 
who feels betrayed by, by a loved one or a loved one may have done something to hurt their feelings or cause emotional pain, if the loved one makes an apology, a heartfelt, meaningful apology where they know, they admit they did wrong and they are sorry, that goes a long way toward uh, maintaining the good relationship with the Scorpio person. Because Scorpio, of all the signs, most understands emotional pain. Now, if you're constantly hurting the Scorpio person, like emotionally hurting their feelings or betraying them emotionally, and you're constantly apologizing, you know, eventually they're just going to discard you. But I wanted to point this trait out in terms of the Scorpio parent, because this trait, the loyalty, makes the Scorpio parent really go to bat for their children defend their children, defend their children's interests relentlessly, which is a great trait in this context, even if they offend or step on the toes of other people. And Scorpio parents are very perceptive. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. And they are very good at figuring out kind of what's going on and keeping an eye on what's going on with their kids in terms of school and the kids' friends and the kids' experiences in general. They're very good at getting to the bottom of things and they're very good on, on keeping an eye on kind of what's how their kid's doing, emotionally check in with their kids. And if they need to step in, they'll do it. Robert Hand, who's is, uh, arguably one of the most, if not the most famous astrologer uh, of recent times, Robert Hand made the quote in his book Horoscope Symbols that Scorpio is the only water sign that will fight. Scorpio parents will scrapple with people and fight right if it's about defending their kids if it's about things that are really important to them they don't scorpio people i don't think they intrinsically take on a leadership role but they will if they have to they will scrapple and they will take on the leadership role if they have to and if it's about protecting their kids they will do it and that is an excellent quality to have I talked in other videos about Aries parents, how I always see Aries parents going to bath for their kids, advocating for their kids. Scorpio will do that too, sometimes not necessarily in an outward way, but they will keep an eye on things. And if they need to get involved or need to rock the boat, they will do it. And as we'll talk about in a few minutes, and as I talked about in other videos, Scorpio adults often, unfortunately, were misunderstood children. Because Scorpio is such a private sign that has difficulty articulating kind of the, the depth of their emotional experience to parents, they often were misunderstood. So because that was their experience, they don't want that experience for their kids. So they will defend their kids and make sure that their kids' needs are met. Uh, okay, the second of the top traits of the Scorpio parents, emotional depth and empathy. So we're going to break this down. So an evolved Scorpio parent will not care too much about whether other people feel uncomfortable with their displays of emotional intensity and their kids' displays of emotional intensity. They recognize when their kids have these big emotions or big feelings, depending on the energy of the children, right? And they will respect and validate the feelings of the kids and help the kids process their emotions. Scorpio parents are set on making sure that their kids get the emotional fulfillment and validation they need that the Scorpio parent likely did not get as a child. So Scorpio parents really respect the emotional depth of the children. This trait allows Scorpio parents to respect and appreciate the emotional expression of their children instead of repressing it. And hopefully, in an ideal situation, the Scorpio parent will have done any healing work they needed to do to not be as triggered by their kids' emotions. Now, if you've read the seminal work, The Body Keeps the Score by Dr. Vessel van der Kolk, he talks about the, the main thing that adults need to deal with, adults who, as children, experienced caretaker abuse, so unfortunately abuse from their parents, whether physical, emotional, psychological abuse, the hallmark of that is that those kids grow up and, and they display emotional dysregulation, okay? And this um, and adults who are emotionally dysregulated are very much triggered by big displays of emotions from their kids. Even when the kids are doing behavior that is developmentally normal, it's developmentally normal for three and four-year-olds to have, you know, we call them tantrums, right? Using air quotes here. They're just 
just big displays of emotion because the kids don't yet have the sophistication to articulate everything they're feeling to the parents. So hopefully in an ideal world, the Scorpio parent will have done the work to handle and better regulate their emotions so that they are less triggered by their kids' display of emotion so that they can respond to the kids and help the kids to co-regulate so the kids learn how to help, how to manage their emotions and regulate their emotions in a healthy way. And my experience is that most Scorpio parents do get to that point because they realize, oh, I didn't get all this as a kid and I don't want my children to have this same experience as I did. Now, the second part of this trait, the emotional depth and the empathy, the empathy, right? We want to talk about that. And I talk about empathy in Scorpio in a lot of my videos on my Scorpio playlist. So Scorpio parents are naturally empathic. They identify very strongly with the emotions of others. They identify very strongly with the emotions of their children. This is all good stuff. Scorpio understands emotional pain, as we said. They recognize it in other people and they have empathy for the emotional suffering of others. So this is all good stuff for the Scorpio parent. Where it becomes challenging for the parent is that you identify so strongly with the emotions of your kids, it's hard to detach. So the trick is to have empathy and display empathy for the kids so you're teaching them empathy and how you know, they should respect, they should expect empathy from other people and they should also give empathy to other people. You want to do that without taking on the emotions of your kids all the time. Because if you're constantly, if you're constantly absorbing the emotions of your children and your loved ones and your friends, you're going to burn out. Anybody would and can't handle that all the time. So the trick is to be detached enough. That's challenging for Scorpio to do because as a water sign, you want to merge with the other individual, right? But the trick is to be detached enough that you can protect your energy at the same time you're providing empathy to your kids. And as we say in so many of my videos, one of the best ways to teach your kids empathy is to show empathy for them. And Scorpio is naturally good at this. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what is empathy because a lot of people use this term a lot and we're not always clear about what we mean when we say have empathy for other people to help your kids develop empathy, right? Empathy is not a heightened sensitivity for your own problems, okay? Empathy is also not being self-aware of your shortcomings. That's great. It's great to have self-awareness about your own foibles, your own shortcomings, those areas where you have work to do on negative conditioning, on healing, working on your triggers and that kind of thing. But that's not empathy. Empathy is putting yourself in the shoes of the other person, okay? seeing things from the other person's point of view. My therapist gave me a handout once that said, true empathy is to consider that everything the other person in the relationship does is for their own survival, okay? And that really resonated with me. I thought, wow, um, because obviously people are different. We have different energy expressions and different needs. We are at different stages in our healing processes, right? That's empathy, putting yourself in the shoes of the other person. So I just want to throw that out there. Now, as I've said in other videos, having that empathy for people, even that pure empathy we're talking about where you are thinking from the point of view that everything the other person does is for their own survival, having that level of empathy does not mean you are required to tolerate things that you do not want to tolerate. You can have empathy for people and decide that you cannot be in a relationship with them. You can have empathy for people and decide that you cannot have them in your life or be around them. That's fine. So I want to make sure that that is clear. Empathy is not sacrificing yourself, sacrificing your time, sacrificing your energy, sacrificing your sanity for other people, for the benefit of other people. It is also not enabling. What is enabling? Well, we can have a lot of different conversations on that, but essentially it's helping other people and doing for other people things that they really should be doing for themselves. All right. Now, the last of our three traits of the top three traits of the Scorpio parent, perceptiveness or perception. This has a lot to do with intuition. Scorpio parents have almost CIA level intuitive perceptive skills. These parents are really, really good at ferreting out like things that are happening with the kids 
or intuiting when their children need maybe some extra attention, some extra time, or when they really should be paying attention to things. Like Scorpio parents are really good at figuring out what's going on with the kids or figuring out, hey, something is off. I can't put my finger on it. I can't really articulate what's off, but something is off. And that means I'm going to need to do a little digging, not be too relentless about it and not, you know, interrogate your kids, but maybe I need to be a little bit more available for my kids. Maybe I need to gently engage my kids more, like say things to them like, hey, is there anything you want to talk about? Or I notice you seem a little tired this week. Is everything going okay? Or I, you know, I can see you're a little upset. Anything I can help with, right? You may want to be a little bit more available or have a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time to give your kids the space to come forward and talk about things that are going on with them. So Scorpio parents are really good at figuring out when they need to do that. And um, one aspect of intuitive ability is picking up on micro expressions, either the, the words people use, uh, language, um, facial tics, things like this. And Scorpio people are very good at picking up on those micro expressions. And um, I read this book recently by actually a local author who's also a body language expert, Janine Driver, and she indicated that children or adults who had um, histories of childhood abuse and childhood trauma are especially good at picking up those intuitive things we're talking about, the micro expressions and the facial tics. They're adept at reading uh, facial expressions, facial cues, verbal cues changes in tone, things like this, because unfortunately as kids, many of us were kind of waiting for the next bad thing to happen or waiting to be yelled at or waiting to be traumatized again. So because we're on pit, we were on pins and needles all the time, walking on eggshells, we were constantly, our brains were constantly surveying um, everything around us for threats, right? So that intuitive ability in children with those backgrounds is heightened. And the last thing I'll say about that, the perception intuitive ability of the Scorpio parent, is I strongly recommend to Scorpio parents, listen to your intuition, okay? Over what the experts are telling you, what other people are telling you, what your child's teachers are telling you, listen to your intuition. If you just tune to the best of your ability, because it's difficult, if you tune other things out and ask yourself, what do I feel is the right thing to do here? What do I feel is the logical next step? What do I feel is the best way to engage my child right now and see if they need anything from me or they're going through a hard time? Ask yourself that. And when the answer comes to you, that's your intuition talking to you. And when I've done that and listened to my intuition, 99% of the time, more or less, I'm right, okay? So it's not about being anxious about stuff. It's about thinking what do I feel is the right thing to do here? I would suggest that you listen to that. And it's fine to get, you know, outside help from experts and things like that, obviously, doctors, mental health professionals, but also just don't discard your intuitive ability because for Scorpio parents, most of the time, it's spot on. So that's the last thing I wanted to mention today. Thank you for your attention. We'll be back very soon with a couple special guests. I have some cool interviews lined up with people. And um, till next time, thank you very much.